Perfect. Hi, welcome to my channel again. This is Bhupesh Sharma. I'm here to present you the second video of my series that is installing Grafana onto the Ping and Load cluster. If you have not watched my earlier video, earlier was one on how to spin up a mini grid cluster on your laptop on a Ubuntu machine. You can just simply check it. Okay, so let's get started on this topic, which is a very important topic, which is helpful for a DevOps person and if you want to install a uh, mini group cluster and then simply a Grafana open source Grafana monitoring tool on the cluster. Okay. So documentation is already there uh, on the GitHub and this directory and you can simply clone this directory and then run these set of commands. It wouldn't it won't take I think more than five minutes or ten minutes to install Grafana and see and validate everything. So let's get started without wasting any further time. Okay. Since I've already cloned this repo on my machine, you can simply see I'm out of which location. So I'm already on to this, uh, you know, Grafana cloned uh, GitHub directory. I can see on which branch I'm working at on main branch. So everything is to dated. Now I'll follow the documentation. So basically for installing Grafana, I'm using this Prometheus tag that is a very popular tag, which actually under the hood installs your Prometheus uh, Prometheus Alert Manager and the Grafana on top of it, which captures metrics from Cube State metrics and a Prometheus Node Exporter. So, the reference documentation is already here. You can simply come here and then track it quickly if you want. Otherwise, you can simply follow the instructions that are mentioned here. Now, uh, it is using Helm Search and Helm Chart to install the uh, entire the Prometheus stack. But you know, you know, you can simply run these set of commands to add this repository to the cluster. I've already added, so it will just say already added and then do a quick Helm repo update. The repo is already updated. And then I'll create a different, so let me see uh, what all namespace are there. So we have all these names. I can create a new namespace or I can just simply use this existing namespace. So I'll just say, you know, create this namespace. If it is not there, you can create by any name, new name as per your like. Now this is already there. Simply, I'll just switch from whatever namespace to this namespace. They're switching the context. Now, whatever I'll do, I'll do it in metric namespace. Now, there are two commands that I can do install of Grafana. I can directly install from the repository, this one from the from you know from Google, or I can simply download entire repository to my GitHub repo and then you can use it. So I will use the second command. Why I'm using it because with the help of second command, everything will reside on your you know laptop or your repository so that you can make changes at a future point of time. Suppose changing password, you know, the default password comes generally as you know from operator, but you've seen I've entirely downloaded that folder here and I've changed the password from prom operator to Jan at the rate 2023. That is one of the frequent questions which is being asked how to change default password of Grafana. So that is the reason you can see you know I've downloaded this entire thing onto my machine by using helm pull and then then running it with the help of this so both these commands are actually same 18 and 9 18 and 20 20 is pulling the data from your local uh, laptop which you have cloned and uh, 9 18 is pulling the data from your uh, this repository directly so without wasting any time i'm just simply copy this and then run it so what it will do, it will just install dependencies of dependent Helm chart like kubeset matrix node scroter and certain CRDs. If it is already there, it will just skip it and then simply run all the manifests that are present in that uh, you know kubeset uh, Prometheus uh, you know bigger Helm chart. It will take a while to install, maybe around 30 seconds or so, because it installed the alert manager and all the rules. Okay, so everything is installed. Let me do a clear screen. Helm list. I can see my Grafana Helm chart is there. I can see what all uh, manifest. I can see all the ports are up and running. 25 seconds, you can see those are spent up quickly. All the services are up here. Deployment straight through that. So, yeah, perfectly fine. So, I'll just simply check the Grafana service. kubectl get SVC and kubectl port forward. SVC and then I'll click Grafana, which is running on 3000 and exposed on 80 port. Okay. Now I'll just copy this thing and open onto my local laptop. I'll close this. 
Now, normally, the password for this is prom hyphen operator, but I've changed the password. You can see it on my machine. I just changed it to Jan at rate 2023. I'll just log in it and I can simply come out to the Grafana home page. Now, just to quickly see whether the data is coming properly or not from cluster to here, I'll just export one more import, one more dashboard, which is called as node exporter dashboard. Now, what is this dashboard? It is actually pulling the data from all the nodes and you know creating a lot of statistics for you. So this is the official documentation. Right, this is the ID 1860. So I'll come here, I'll simply the people who are using Grafana, it would be very you know easy for you, but people who are new, I mean it will take just a matter of time to understand the things. Let's import this thing. Okay, now you can see the data is also coming properly. So this is my, you know, default data source from ETS, and then the node exporter, the RAM used, and all the everything is coming properly. Now if I if I see the uh, some other dashboards, inbuilt dashboards that are coming, I can see the workloads also, or I can see some other uh, lot of dashboards that are there. I can see four DNS dashboard, okay, and all these dashboards are built on uh, PromQL queries at the back end. So, I mean. Yeah. See, port related data is also coming. Uh, the moment you change the filter, it will start to show. See, the moment I change the matrix namespace, I can see the data. You can see the data is coming up properly. See. So that is pretty much the. I don't think it took around 10 minutes to install Grafana, and I can see the alerting and alert rules. There are certain alert managers and rules that are already being firing now in my next video what i'll show how to integrate this uh, firing alerts and send it to jira because currently the alerts are not going anywhere if i see the uh, see there's no admin configuration there's no email configuration nothing is being provided it's all empty it's all brand new it's all vanilla installation that we have done we have installed prometheus grafana under the hood and then uh, you know you can see everything is coming here so so in our next video maybe we'll just uh, quickly see last 12 hours we see a lot of matrices that are coming so people who are pretty much familiar they can understand how this works okay. show all 66 so yeah so let me get, get back to the documentation again what we did in just a quick recap we installed this for q prometheus stack helm chart the bigger helm chart uh, not directly but uh, first of all i cloned that thing to our uh, local laptop and then I went to this values.ml file and then changed this from operator to Jan 2023 or whatever you want and then then simply ran it uh, from my local. The, the benefit of keeping it onto your local so that you can make any changes in the future. So in our next video, I'll be doing integration with Jira so that everything can be maintained at, at, at your site. Right. So yeah, that is that is pretty much about it. You can simply uh, you know, do a quick recap prior to install this entire Grafana on your on your machine on your cluster, and see how it goes. And then maybe we'll take it further for next level next level of Jira integration. I hope you like the video. If you need certain you know, same amount same kind of videos, you can either comment me in the comment section or any any other topic that you want in DevOps, especially in the terms of monitoring field. I'll happy to share that. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye.